Ooh, that's like really bad. All right, guys, real quick before we get started with this episode of Scam Italia, don't forget that you can get the full uncut unedited raw versus of Scam Italia on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to rewatch these episodes along with me in their entirety, as well as get all of the other Scam remakes in seasons 3 and 4 of OG Scam, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get this episode, guys. Oh, shit, I forgot it was this episode. Oh, my God. Is she naked or is that a blanket? Or is that a shirt? Oh, shit. Ooh, and he's touching her. Ew. Ew. What a nasty little rat. God, I cannot believe that we're having to watch this storyline this many times at once. Damn, she doesn't even want to stand up without keeping that blanket on her. Oh, the music is so sad. Yeah, not with his ex. He's taking the SAT test. Uh. Oh, baby. Oh, whoa. I was like, why is it blue? Mm. I just want to hug her and tell her it's going to be okay. Oh god, is she in that picture? Che c'è? Hai sentito il citofono? Sì. Eh, sì, sì. Eduardo. Vabbè, digli che non ci sono. Che no, è? sta già salendo. Oh, digli che sto male, non lo so, inventa di qualcosa, cazzo. Vabbè, ah, tutto ok? Sì, tutto bene, voglio solo stare da solo. You think that, like, like for as well as he knows grazie. his Ciao. sister, that he would okay. know something is not okay if she's freaking out like that. At the thought of him coming up. Look at that picture. Ugh. La febbre? Che scesa. Comunque ci sei mancata, sapete. Non sai i pezzi che mi vino ha fatto con Silvia. Siamo divertiti un sacco. Hai parlato con Silvia. Senti, ho visto che tu la registri questa settimana. Non è che puoi sostituirmi nella puntata del 15 perché io sono incasinatissima questi giorni. Ah, cavolo. Perché ho preso tutta la settimana, ho tre interrogazioni. Però forse va qualche turno libero, non so, però chiedere. Mm. I feel like she's good at hiding it how she really feels though. It's like I feel like with the others they it was like obvious that something was going on. At least if that was my friend it would be obvious. But I feel like she's playing it more cool. Shit. Buongiorno. Oh my god. The intense bass in the back. Ho visto che mi hai cercato venerdì. Sì. Ho sbagliato numero. Sei volte. Lo sai che mi sei mancato in questi giorni. Oh shit. Scusami. God, I feel so bad for both of them because him, he didn't do anything wrong and he just doesn't understand what's happening. And then her, for obvious reasons. Panic, you know. <clears throat> oh, baby. Uh oh, she's gonna blow up on him. Ciao, Ragno. Dopo metto a posto qual è il problema? Cioè è roba di tutti e due, poi mi viene. Roba di tutti e due, è roba mia questa. Eh? Ah. È roba mia, sì. Anche. Dove sono le mie piantine? Oh, eh, ma che hai? Che faccia c'hai? Dove sono le mie piantine? Erano piene di le ho buttate. Ma io le stavo curando, ma perché le buttate? Io ti calmo, no, 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 calma, non mi devi toccare, calma, non mi toccare! Oh. Lasciami, lasciami, calma. lasciami! Lasciami! Calma! Why did she have to throw away her plants? Yeah, um, I feel like she probably feels like she's losing everything. Her plants were something that she could take care of. And threw them away. <clears throat> I 
Shit. No. How do you say his name? Andrea? Andrea? I feel like he said it was Andrea. I don't remember though. But block his frickin' Instagram. Now that you know the answer, you don't need to see any more. He doesn't need to tell you anymore. God, I love his curly hair. I shouldn't have hit the guy with the chair. Quando ho tirato un colpo a quel ragazzo l'ho fatto solo perché volevano far del male ai miei amici, perché sono le uniche persone che ho oltre a te. Senti, non voglio giustificarmi. Just kiss him and say it's okay. You feel so bad for him. He's such a little puppy. Una volta ho scoperto che ha contattato una ragazza con cui frequentavo con la quale stavo molto bene. Mi ha detto un sacco di cazzate su di me che doveva stare attenta. E alla fine tutto questo era perché voleva provarci lui e mettersi in mezzo e mandare tutto a puttane. Shit. Ho avuto paura. <coughs> ho avuto paura che potesse farlo anche con te. He did. Trust. He did. Ed è questo il vero motivo per cui non ti ho detto niente all'inizio. Interesting that they take a different they're taking a different route with that. Because normally at this point she's okay with him and they're not like fighting. And he just says the line like if anything if anybody ever hurt you I'd kill them. And then she gets the text. Ti dobbiamo stare insieme. Dimmelo anche tu. Whoa, I kind of like the direction they took with this. Oh, she's clearly not okay yet. Whereas like at this point, Nora was so happy that things were okay and that nothing had happened with her and Nico. No, <laughs> cute. Oh shit, so she's not even gonna be... <gasps> Ooh, that's like really bad. They kind of are taking it in a different way though. Like... Like, instead of him saying something like extra creepy and being like, you know what? I remember now something did happen he was kind of like shit I think something did happen so it was kind of a different response on his part and then also her conversation with Eduardo was Eduardo I don't know how to say his name uh was just different like that's that's the conversation where Nora gets the text confirming nothing happens and immediately runs to William and kisses him and they have that like moment where she's finally able to be with him because she was it was confirmed that nothing happened and she's relieved she's happy and then he leaves says that quick i love you and then she gets that text message that's like goes against everything that she thought she just knew so they kind of switched that around where he was telling the story of his brother coming between him and his ex-girlfriend and trying to tear them apart and she kind of immediately starts panicking because that's exactly what had just happened with her. And she wasn't happy, she wasn't relieved. She was at the beginning, but the conversation didn't end on a good note. She was still upset and something was going on and he was saying, tell me we should be together and she just never said it. And I really like that they switched that up and then switching up Andrea's um, reaction to it and him just saying, shit, maybe something did happen instead of I mean, who knows how he's gonna handle it going forward. At this point, it kind of seems like he genuinely doesn't remember and that he's just going off of what he found in his phone. Whereas like Nico, it doesn't make him less of a predator, don't get me wrong, but like with Nico, he damn, no, damn well knew what he was doing when he sent that message. So um, th they might make Andrea even more manipulative than Nico originally was, but 
holy shit, this was a really good episode. Um, it was really, I don't know, it was kind of a different vibe though. Uh, we haven't seen her fully like panic panic yet. Obviously she was very upset and freaking out. Um, but I feel like in some of the other remakes we've seen them panic a little bit more. Not that that's anything against the actress or anything, but I feel like they just did it a little bit differently. But I think that now after that happened and then after he gave that whole speech about his brother always like trying to steal his girlfriends, I think we're going to get more of a panic going forward. Um, but I do love that they made that little change because so far I feel like the season is like almost copy and paste of the original. Uh, so it's really refreshing that they had changed that because that's quite a bit that they changed in just this episode. So uh, who knows going forward what to expect but this was a really, really good episode, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like Eleonora plays it cool a little bit more than the other ones do. Um, like, when she was talking to Sana, she kind of, she played that, like, I'm okay, but, like, can you cover my shift type thing a little bit better, and with, like, Nora, I feel like Nora, you could read it all over her face that something was wrong, and even when they would ask, are you sure you're okay? She wouldn't say it. Like, like, I feel like in the Filippo uh, and Eleonora scene, you could definitely tell, obviously. But I feel like with Nora, most of her scenes were like that, where she had, like, a really short fuse and was just freaking out. And I just wish that Filippo had, had pushed more to figure out what was going on, because clearly it wasn't just the plants and the, the mess. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see how they play the rest out. This got me really excited, knowing that they changed those, those things in the end. Um, but I really enjoyed it think that is pretty much it. Oh, I'm gonna give it, okay, I'm gonna give it like a 9 out of 10. Uh, the last half was really, really, really good, and I mean, actually, the whole thing was really, really good, um, but it wasn't the best that they can do, so I'll hold out that 10 slot. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.